the first time you introduced this notion of dignitary harm to me, it really resonated because one of the things that I, in my dissertation research and so to the other scholarship that I was working on, what became apparent to me um, that I was able to give some voice to is that as people of color, our racial selves, our racial identity is so important to us, right? We spend um, a lot of time thinking about mm -hmm. it. We spend a lot of time investing and in mm -hmm. sort of like developing it and trying to get it to be this mature mm -hmm. sense of, of, of being in the world. Uh, we derive a lot of pride from it. There's a lot of cultural capital that comes from it. We, we have behavioral skills, you know, that go along with it. And so when I was listening to you talk about that, you know, I was thinking about like, oh, it, it's, it's almost like somebody is attacking that very part of us mm -hmm. that is life-giving, mm -hmm. right? Or that is sustaining for mm -hmm. us, right? And so in some ways, it's almost about um, somebody like cutting off your arm or mm -hmm. cutting off your foot, right? And, and, trying, and expecting you to just keep going, right? continue to run or continue to, to walk or continue to, to think or write or, you know, whatever it happens to be, while this really significant part of you is under attack, mm -hmm. right? Um, and so we, the, the sense of dignitary harm really um, drew that out for me, mm -hmm. even as you were um, sharing it with me the first time. And so I, I, I think I still keep coming back to it, thinking about it when I'm working with folks mm -hmm. on, on different campuses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, preserving one's dignity, I think that that is that is key mm -hmm. to helping people to optimize their, their, their true selves right. and develop right. more of a cohesive sense yeah. of being.